You want to have a house made out of TVs? You can have anything you like in Jannah. That would be interesting. And yeah. then the door is a giant stretched long computer. That would be cool as well. And then the hinges were iPads. Whoa. That would be interesting. Send me a picture of that. South Dubai. In association with Gifters. Your halal family friendly restaurant. <laughs> Today I'm joined by Salim Al-Azhari. Adam. <laughs> Excellent. Now we've been talking about the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And in the last episode, excellent. Always say Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam whenever we hear his name. The last episode we said it's important to do what when we talk? Be honest and to not steal and excellent. to speak the truth. Excellent. Very good listening, Abdullah. Now, the yes. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he was given a nickname meaning Al Amin. Before you go on, make sure to click like now. I know that means they're trustworthy. Excellent, because he always told the truth. So now, Adam, <laughs> let me ask Adam an important <laughs> question. Let me ask Adam <laughs> an important question, everybody. Okay, Adam, if you had some sweets. And I said I could look after them for you. Keep it in a safe place. Is that good? Why not? Because? Because you would make them die. I'd, what, you think I would eat them and keep them safe and warm here? In my tummy? So the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, remember he used to buy and trade things as well. He was a trader. And there was a very good business lady by the name of Khadija radiallahu anha. Oh, but before you come, wait, pause, 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 pause. Before, but everyone you know, knows this. Everyone knows yeah. that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu uh, alaihi wasallam yeah. married Khadija as his first no, wife. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm saying. But everyone knows that. Okay, that's fine. But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about how he used to work for Khadija radio anha, yeah. and he tr people trusted him. Okay. He was al amin. He was al amin. Now, Abdul Rahman. Trustworthy. A trustworthy, excellent, Abdul Rahman. What happens if you, if somebody tells a lie? Don't forget your Asri Rex from the Asri's.com. We've got bad deeds. Bad deeds. And Marim, what do See? I always say about lying, about telling the truth? If you uh, tell the truth, you won't get in trouble. Yes. Now, Abdullah, um, the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, he was very trustworthy. What does it mean to trust somebody? Like, say, I tell you a secret. Yes. And then I can, and then I can trust you yeah. to keep that secret and not to tell anyone. Excellent. Good. So then the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and Khadija and her, they decided to get married. Adam, how old do you think the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was when he married Khadija radiallahu anha? Click subscribe so you know when we post a new video. Have a guess. Eight. Eight. Okay, not quite a bit older than that. Abdullah, six. what do you think? No, a bit older than six. Abdullah, what do you think? Um, around twenty to fifty. Twenty-two. 50. 20 to 50, okay. Uh, Mariam? Um, I would think maybe in the 30s. 30s, okay. Ab Abdurrahman, how old? Like 27! Uh, go on, don't let me ask Abdurrahman. 20 to 50. 18? 82, like 30. Okay, so the correct answer is 25. So the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was 25 when he married Khadija. Are we going to do competition time on this? Let's go to competition time. Well done, Competition time! We're at home with the Azaris. Everybody watching at home, I want you to open up your workbooks. Go past the code breaker page, past the sticker page, and past the reward chart until you reach the last page for this particular episode. What you will see there is competition time. I'm going to ask a question, and in your workbooks, you'll find two possible answers. I want you to circle what you think is the correct answer as fast as you can, and let's have a competition to see if you at home can beat the Azaris here. 
you get two points for every correct answer. Question number one, everybody, competition time. Is it sunnah to pray Eid outside or indoors? If you think it's outside, write number one. If you think it's indoors, write number two. Should we pray Eid outside? If you think it's yes, number one, or no for number two. Of the man's return, number one. Adam's return, number one, number one. Do you think it's number two? Okay, Adam written number two, Mariam written number one. So the correct answer is number one. Yes. Well, you, yeah, if you got it right, you got two points. Well done, everyone. Everyone got the correct answer, mashallah. So everyone moves up the leaderboard. Question number two, everybody. Which prayer is later? If you think it's Maghrib, that's number one. Or if you think it's Isha, Isha. Wait, it's number, number two. two. So which one comes later? Isha. Abdul Rahman's written number two for Isha. Maryam, number two. Abdullah, two. number two. Adam, number two. Excellent. So Isha comes after Maghrib. Well done, everybody. Everyone got the correct answer, mashallah. So everyone moves up the leaderboard. Is there another book that's going to be sent by Allah after the Quran? If you think yes, write number one. If you think no, write number two. Is there another book Allah is going to send after the Quran? Abdurrahman, yes for one or no for two? What do you have? No. So you think number two, uh, Mariam, number two, Abdullah, number two, and Adam, one or two? Number two, well done. So there's no other book Allah is going to send after he sent the Quran. Everyone got the correct answer, mashallah. So everyone moves up the leaderboard. So everybody, welcome back to Who's Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Now, Adam, I want you to act out a word and see if you can guess it at home, everybody, before the Azhar is here. The word is... Okay, how can you act that out? Hold on. Watch and see what Adam is doing. What is Adam acting out? He is... Running! What do you think the word is? Swimming. Not running. When the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, who was 35 years old, there was a big flood and it destroyed the Kaaba. Uh, yeah, did you know? 35. When he was 35, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yeah, but yeah. the house, the Kaaba was still built. Exactly, so they had to rebuild it. And there was a special stone. Oh, oh. What was the stone? Excellent, but why was it the black? Why is the black stone special, Mario? Because it came down from Jannah. Excellent. And, um, yes. Basically, it used to be like a white, clean stone. That was but, um, white but the more stone. people who do um, bad deeds, yeah. um, they get it became blacker and blacker and blacker. Excellent. So it used to be white, and then it turned to black. Now, when they were rebuilding the Kaaba, okay. They were looking at who's going to put the black stone into the Kaaba. Did you know that, Abdullah? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but I still okay. have the question. All right, go ahead. What's your question? Um, can the black stone yeah. turn back to white? Uh, if Allah wants it to, Allah can let anything they happen. Want you wanted to, to go back. Why yeah, do you want it to go back to white? Because I want to see it white. You want to see it white? You can send me a picture when you're at Mecca. <laughs> if it turns white. We'll ask like Allah. when you, like when you called us when they were stitching the cab. Oh yes, when they were doing <laughs> fixing the cab. That, that was cool. cool. But when, inshallah, maybe in Jannah, you can ask Allah if you can see the white, what it used to be like when it was white. Deal. So he's gonna show me a picture of it on the TV, or is he just gonna bring it to me? If you have a TV in Jannah. <laughs> okay. He's not gonna have, have a house made of TVs. Who? That could be possible. You wanna have a house made out of TVs? You can have anything you like in Jannah. That would be interesting. But and what? then the door is a giant stretched long computer. That would be cool as well. And then the hinges were iPads. Whoa, that would be interesting. Send me a picture of that. But let me tell everybody at home now what happened. So it was a big flood. 
They were rebuilding the Kaaba, and they said, who is going to put the black stone into the Kaaba? Me, I will. <laughs> no, that's not what they said. So what I, well, they did say that. They said, I will, I will. So everybody wanted to put it into the Kaaba. So you know but how they decided? Prophet Muhammad yeah, came and put it in. But before Wait, that, did they do the hat thing? Hold on. No, they didn't do the hat thing. No, no, so basically, they put it on a dishcloth. They put it on like a cloth. And then each tribe leader would hold one corner and then they put it in. Excellent. So what just before that? Tribe it went to, yeah. They would get it's close. You're both close, but this is what happened. So they said the the next person that comes through the door of the masjid of the area, he will decide how we do it. And the next person was Abdurrahman, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Are you comfortable down there? Is that yes, you okay. Know? Okay, so the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu was the next person to come through the door and he said what we will do is each of the tribes you hold one part of the cloth we'll put the black stone on the cloth and I will be the one who puts it into the Kaaba. So that's how he got put back into the Kaaba. Now, do you know what happened next? Wait, let me think about this. I feel like in one of these stories somebody would just randomly die. Well, stay tuned to find out what happens next in the next episode. Everyone say salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Click subscribe now. Click like. Don't forget your workbooks and your Azhari dinosaurs from the Azhari.com. We'll see you soon, inshallah.